Now let's go back to our spreadsheet and see again what we can do with this data set. So basically we have the location which will be very useful for us in a minute. <clears throat> but right now we can also analyze how many listings we have by room type. Right? So let's go back here to our pizza chart and uh, in the data let's add the room type as a dimension and as a measure let's count the number of IDs basically count the number of uh, listings so there we go we have 52 percent of the listings are uh, entire home or apartment 45 almost 46 percent private rooms and we also have some shared rooms <clears throat> um, now let's go to the filters a little bit okay so how can I uh, filter my selections and interact with the dashboard? Uh, anything basically in the, in the dashboard is interactive. So if I click here in Midtown and apply my selection, I don't even have to apply the selection. Uh, and the bar was gone here because the chart is just too large and it goes to the, to the bottom. Okay, so let's just go back here and make it like this it's better now so as you saw the, the this chart also responded to my selection so clearing it we can see it again and the opposite as well so if I want to see only uh, entire homes and apartments this chart will also respond to my selections okay and we can continue here doing the same thing so if I hover the mouse here on the name, I can click and drag down. And as you can see, I, I have the selections here and I will now <clears throat> just leave the mouse and apply my selections. The numbers here have also dated and I can again uh, clear my selections and see what, what's the room type distribution in this preview selection. It, it's not previous because it's, it's still here, right? <clears throat> another kind of another kind of sorry. <clears throat> another kind of filter that we can do here is also by the legend. So I can also scroll from here and pick the limits, right? Um, let's now uh, show you the tables. So let's say that I want to insert here a table from the chart list so let's bring it to our dashboard let's bring the name of the listing and the price we can as we have just one price per listing we can also we can do uh, an average or a sum let's do the average just to keep with the standard um, let's make it money in the number format right here name it as price right here okay and we can show the totals or not okay uh, we have your total function uh, auto we can do none so it this here will be gone but let's just make it leave it like that um, so if you understood the concept of the dashboards and clicks so basically we can add the measures inside each chart right so in here if I click in this chart I can see the dimensions and the measures same for here for this pie chart <coughs> and same for the table right so we can play with it and everything we will interact with each other so if I select from here just Soho I will see the listings from Soho the room types distribution and I can also uh, sort the price from this table Okay, up or down, we can do that, right? So this is very useful for us. Um, let's just clear it again. 